Hi, my name is Bethany Eiser. It's Mental Illness Awareness Week, and I wanted to share a little bit about my own story. Um, I have schizophrenia, but I have been fully recovered for almost 10 years. What that means is that I have been completely asymptomatic. I am not cured, and I will be cured of schizophrenia, but that doesn't mean I can't have a wonderful, fulfilling, happy life. Today I work, I enjoy wonderful relationships, I play the violin again. When I look back at my life, I remember March 3rd of 2007. This is the day when I was picked up by police and taken to a psychiatric ward. I was very certain that I was not mentally ill. How could I be? I was strong. I won a scholarship to a university to study biochemistry. I played violin at a professional level. I also had never used drugs. How could I have schizophrenia? But I didn't understand what schizophrenia was. I didn't understand that schizophrenia is a treatable biological illness. It involves an imbalance of neurotransmitters inside of your brain. A hundred years ago, having schizophrenia was one of the worst things that could ever happen to you. It was a life sentence, so you might call it a death sentence. But today, I do not consider my schizophrenia to be a life sentence. Because of that terrible day, because of March 3rd, 2007, because I had a schizophrenia diagnosis, I would be forced to begin medication. And for 12 months, I would struggle on medication and do poorly. But when I found the right medication in 2008, my symptoms went away. Voices that I'd heard literally for years inside of my mind were finally getting quieter. My hallucinations were gone. And after 18 months on a medication that worked well for me, which happened to be clozapine, I enrolled at the university and I finished my molecular biology degree finally with a 3.84, almost straight A's. When I finished my degree, my doctor, Henry Nasrallah, challenged me to stop what I was doing and write down my story, which became my memoir, Mind is Strange, which I have right here. In my book, I go through my years as an honor student in high school, winning a scholarship to college, playing violin in the orchestra, to the onset of schizophrenia, not being able to study anymore, not playing the violin, refusing to be in touch with my loving family, even though there had never been any trauma. I invite you to read my book and learn more about my story, but my message to you today is that there is nothing wrong, there is nothing embarrassing about having a mental illness. Today I feel like a schizophrenia survivor, kind of like a cancer survivor. I've beat this. Today I realize that schizophrenia is a little bit like diabetes. When a person with diabetes commits to taking insulin and watching their diet and exercising, they can have a good life today. People with schizophrenia can too. The important thing is to never give up. Keep trying medications, keep working with your doctor until you find a medication that works for you. And it's important to dream. If you have schizophrenia, think about what your goals were in the past, what your hobbies were. Make new goals for yourself. Reach for the stars, you know. I remember a time when I was so sick with schizophrenia Full recovery felt like a journey to land on the moon. It felt impossible. But today, medicines for schizophrenia are better than they have ever been. There is hope. I encourage you, don't give up. As you celebrate a Mental Illness Awareness Week, I hope you remember that schizophrenia is a biological illness. There is no shame in taking a medication for any disease, including schizophrenia, my brain disease. I'm not embarrassed to have it, and I live a wonderful life, and I want to offer you inspiration and hope in your own journey. On this Mental Illness Awareness Week, I would also like to introduce you to the CURES Foundation, which is curesv.org, or a comprehensive understanding via research and education into schizophrenia. 
We're here to help you better understand what schizophrenia is, talk about treatments for schizophrenia, encourage you to never give up. We're also interested in funding research, and we'd like to reach the general public with the news that there is nothing embarrassing about having this disease. Statistically, people with schizophrenia are not dangerous. Having schizophrenia is a lot like an early onset Alzheimer's disease. We are not a threat to the general public. We would also like to raise awareness of the very high number of mentally ill people in America who are in jails and prisons who badly need medical care. I would encourage you to log on to cures.org, check us out, and support our mission. Thank you.